two, one. Hey guys, welcome to Rotorat. I'm Ladrib and this is Jaybird FPV. You might know him for some of his amazing one take shots. Mall of America shot was next level. Definitely check a link in the description to some of his videos. It's incredible stuff. Most famous is the bowling alley video. That's right, we got the bowling alley palette right here. You guys had to have seen that video. We're gonna be doing a lot of different tactical stuff and explosions. So being able to get these drones in dangerous situations where you can't get other cameras, it's really nice nice to use the rotor riot setups because if something goes wrong and a drone's out like the pre-builds are something that you can get up in the air right away and then immediately when you're on set you can be shooting at a comfortable level well we're just honored that you're flying the quads and showing all of them what amazing things that you can do with it fpv drones is just such an amazing technology we've come out to gun site in arizona trying to get the drone in some dangerous places where you couldn't get uh, a, a human filmer and try not to incinerate the drones too. <laughs> I'm really excited to share with you guys kind of what it's like to be behind the scenes with a pro FPV drone filmer. You make it look really easy, but there's a lot of work that goes into it. And when I say there's one more take, I mean there's five more takes. <laughs> We're having a nice like range difficulty here where our very start point, it's not gonna get us fully to here because the signal is not gonna go all the way from the gate to here. So I could be in the car for a shot. What if you're in the car, we, we go into the gate, I mean, it's not gonna be going crazy fast, and then come up here and just kind of work its way towards, towards the range. Okay, you drive, I'll hop in the front. <laughs> Yeah, feel free to buzz through. Like, obviously, don't you know go at right. reasonable speed, but feel free to. All right, three, two, one, zero. Oh, that was yeah. A close like, oh, I love that. Yeah, wow, I really like love that. Really like that. And then we veer off right here, and then we drop on into our range, and then we want to maybe get all the way around. Yep, and you want to spend. A little bit of time there, get close to the people. Yep, Although this has and then they'll be they'll be kind of shooting from like right here. No, they'll be a lot closer than that. Oh, they'll be like yeah, they'll be like right they'll here. be like 20 feet from the target. Boom, right there. Okay. Yeah. So we kind of want to just work around in this, and to get to our next spot, we can just hop up. Yep, go to our next spot. And then, yeah. So okay, so that's what I like. So this one will come from behind the shooting. And then for this guy, what we'll do is like when we approach it, we'll come from behind and we'll be right in the line of fire when we approach it. We're gonna have the, the two ranges set up where we're gonna coordinate two different drills on each. And then we're gonna have the drone be able to get in front of all the muzzles and see what we can get on both ranges in one shot. Great. Oh, here. If you want to shoot this, I'm gonna, I'm gonna almost hit a second. Ah! Holy! Uh, I'm Brian Hadeen, president and founder of Viridian Technology. We build products, so laser sights, 
uh, weapon mounted lights, holsters. You know, we've organized this with some of our key industry partners, brought it all together here at, at uh, Gunsight. Gunsight Academy is the oldest privately held firearms training academy in the world as far as we know. It's huh. been in existence for 46 years. So really anyone that has an interest in doing firearms in a safe, responsible way, learning from the experts, I and mean, this is the place to do it. You guys have the facility, exactly you so. got the equipment. We offer uh, classes, anything from one day to five and six day in-depth programs. Federal is one of the largest ammunition companies in the world. They're very innovative, they, they do all kinds of stuff, so they're excited to be partnering with both Viridian and Springfield on this project. This is gonna be a pretty crazy video. Yeah. So I'm actually a competitive shooter, but today I am um, going to be an add-on member to the security team. We'll have some dynamic moving and shooting that we're going to be doing, which will be pretty cool. So hopefully they'll be able to get some cool shots of that. And that's, you know, something that you'd actually see to bring that experience of what it would be like to be on a world-class range like this to somebody sitting, you know, watching that at home. We're waiting for part of the crew to get here at the fun house. That's this little knife edge gap. Bobby thinks he's gonna go for it. I'm gonna screw around too in the funhouse. Well, fun? I'm gonna screw around more and have more I'm fun. I'm gonna screw around. I'm already plugged in. What are you doing? I'm not. Cinewoop flight where they're gonna go no shooting yet, but basically this one will give us a, a little timing matchup so when they actually have the bullets out, we'll be in the right place at the right time. So from a scale of nah to brah, what are you feeling? Uh, full send. Full send. Somewhere in there. This is like for FPV pilot, this is like as good as it gets for a dynamic window and then for scouting it, you just hop up to the top and get a look. The take. It's all down to this. All the practice, all the setup, all the anticipation comes down to this moment. Unless he messes it up and then we'll do another take. <laughs> the stakes have been higher, but the. <laughs> setting up for another exercise and this exercise is actually going to be very quick but they're filming with a high-speed camera so it's going to be ultra slow motion so Jay switched to a thick which is a larger drone x8 seven inch props basically a drone that can carry a heavier payload because he's carrying a bigger camera the wave so free fly if you're familiar with like the alta 8 alta 6 free fly made that camera free fly oh okay I didn't make that connection that's really cool so free fly made this and it's their first camera ever they make the Movi Pro, so they're in cinema enough where they're like, let's just make a high frame rate camera that's small enough to go on a drone and also durable enough where you can have this thing get hit by sand and rocks and it's still like compact because there's no there's no screen on it, right? There's no, oh, wow, okay. it's just a fan and you have to HDMI out um, just a monitor to it, but it's got an internal two terabyte SSD on it and honestly it fills up fast. So, so you're like constantly offloading footage from there onto a laptop or something? Yeah, you have just your SSD with you, so if we have like a money take, you'll just right away get that off there so you can format it and start again. But yeah, it's the idea that like the coolest shots you go through like sand or dirt. In Johnny's Porsche film, he used this camera. So like he 
definitely put it to the test with like getting stuff shot up at it. Um, so like you could probably go through a lot of lenses, but the camera itself will like sustain all that. Seems like a tank. the bullet though. I didn't shoot it. No, by the, it's fine. It's by the shell. Oh, it's just the ri ricochet? It's yeah, just the shell. Blast. We're good. Woo! Hit and record. Hit, hit the red button on hit. top of the camera. <laughs> as long it's as the bracket. camera's not damaged, there's no real. No, no, no. Oh, oh but if the, the optics are fine. Look at Chicks just took out all the props. Yeah, some scuffs on the carbon back here. Yeah. Back here. Yeah. Down over here. It was on your side. Nothing horrible. Yeah. Coming down this I broke your rubber. I think this drone is done for the day. Yeah. No, this is actually the best case scenario because we're because we're like we did we did our we did our dangerous shot and technically the only thing that needs to be fixed is like just a little repair on this, but the camera's totally fine. So shout out to the free for that wave. So next we're going to the explosions. Explosions. We got three explosions. Explosion number one, we're gonna do a clean take with the expensive camera, try and get nice slow motion. The next two explosions, we wanna maximize the Lots chances. of drones. We wanna maximize our chances of getting something, so lots of drones, lots of angles. Full big, send. big explosions. Big boom boom. So the boom is gonna be right on the other side of the white truck there. Oh, that's pretty close. We're gonna be posted up right here, and then the guy detonating it will be with us, and so that way we can know in our shot yeah. when the best time for him to blow it up. So I think with this, I almost wanna get in the blast radius and then as I'm pulling out, just have it go to smithereens. Yeah. Bubby, I'm gonna go straight through the ball. <laughs> okay. The fire. Yeah, I'm just gonna straight through the ball. Fire. I'm just gonna send it. I'm just gonna go straight through the ball. I wanna chase it up. So I'm gonna start low and as it blows, I'm gonna try and go up it. Straight through. Straight down the range. Straight down the range. Okay, I'll come from the left side. God. <laughs> did you wait the quad was still flying like that or did you crash over there? No. Oh, I was about to say. But look at it. It's did, like completely charged. Did you go right through the fireball? Yeah. Oh. Wow. <laughs> These props were purple. Damn. Yeah, oh my god. god. Just my even melted, Oh my dude. god, you melted. <laughs> and your quad was still flying or no? It just went down. I mean, it's fine. Dude, wow. I gotta save these. Oh my props. gosh, the battery. This is a brand new battery. Wow. That's oh, no. crazy. That's the crazy. air unit. This is a brand new no. air unit. Looking. <laughs> melted the props. Oh, that's crazy. Oh, exactly. The GoPro is still alive, man. Oh, the GoPro is still rolling. That's all that's that matters. How often do you do a shoot like this where you have to use so many different types of drones? Because you use the Cinewhoop for the close quarters, you use the five inch for the long take where you kind of cross more of the campus, and you broke out the thick to carry that uh, super high frame rate camera, get that ultra slow-mo. So it's, I thought that was like really interesting. Is that a common thing you have to deal with? Uh, well, yeah, sometimes, but for this, I, it would surprise me because originally we wanted to set this up and inc incorporate as many things as we can in that one shot, um, but it, it really looked like when we were scouting that the best setup would be to take each place and really just make that scene unique in its own way. Yeah. So yeah, having the speed on the Vanny or the safety on the Cinewhoop and also getting the slow-mo on the wave, making sure to spend time incorporating all the three different types of drones is something where now we can go into post and we've got a lot of different looks. It amazes me how little was damaged in the last couple days for sure. Of course it was the most expensive drone that had to go down, down though. Thankfully the damage was very minimal and it was just a bent a lens hood. I think you bent it back. It's good as new. It's probably better now. You're gonna have better light blockage. It's fine. Yeah, it's fine. Well, I hope you guys were not only impressed by the amazing shots they were able to pull off, but also gained an appreciation for how much work goes into it. It is not easy 
flying and filming at the level that you're at. For sure. And honestly, I had you guys helping me so like the sun didn't go in my goggles. Yeah. Those. <laughs> um, yeah, you'll watch out for that. But yeah, it's cool too because like a lot of times people want to see that feed. Like if you have a client or anybody nearby that they're watching the drone buzz around, but they, they want to be on that same experience here on to see that that view so being able to have the extra goggles to show the people on set really helps because once they see that and experience that the first time they're so sold on like yeah we'll do another take or yeah, yeah. what do you need me to do so and making sure that they get the same visual of you as you are getting is huge well i know the clients and the sponsors are stoked about the shots are you happy did you get what you wanted i'm super stoked fam dude thanks a lot for letting us come out here follow you around and and share with them uh, what it's like to be on set with you doing some of these productions. I think it's uh, I think it's not something that a lot of people really have seen before as to like what it takes to do these types of shots. So thank you so much. Absolutely fam. Woo! Guys, hope you enjoyed this video. If you're new here, hit the subscribe button. We post videos every Monday. Smash the bell so we can spam you. You don't want to miss one. If you had a good time, hit the like button. Guys, I'm Ladrib. I'm Jaybird. We'll see you next time on Rotorad. Ride.